Uh-oh. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Let me see if I can go back a little bit. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Happy Sunday. Try that. Happy Sunday, everybody. Happy Sunday. Happy, happy Sunday, everybody. This is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Happy first Sunday of March. Happy first Sunday. Happy Sunday, Brother Norman Bells. Happy first Sunday and Communion Sunday. This is Communion Sunday. Happy Sunday, everybody. Happy, happy Sunday. Please let me know that you can see me and hear me loud and clearly. Happy Sunday. Happy Sunday. Yes, Communion Sunday, Brother Norman. Happy Sunday. Where's everybody at? Wake up, rise and shine. Happy Sunday to everyone this morning. In Jesus' name, happy Sunday, Sunshine Nessa. Happy Sunday. I gotta see what my. I have a new phone. I can't see my people on top. I gotta see why I can't see people's pictures. But happy Sunday, everybody. This is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad. Happy Sunday, Jill. Happy Sunday to each and every one of you. Let's see why I can't see my faces. I don't want to bother nothing and mess nothing up. Happy Sunday. I wonder what that is. I hope I'm not messing up nothing. Let's see. Happy Sunday, everybody. Happy, happy Sunday. Happy Sunday. I can't see my live faces on top, so I don't know what's, what I did or didn't do wrong or right. But happy Sunday. Happy first Sunday today is Sunday, March 3rd, 2024. We give God praise, glory, and honor. Please let me know. That, okay, you can see me and hear me loud and clearly. Happy, happy Sunday. Happy Sunday to each and every one of you this morning. On this first Sunday, which will be prayer and communion Sunday. Amen. Happy Sunday, Von A. Jackson. Happy Sunday. Happy Sunday, Claudia Carroll. Happy Sunday. I don't know why I can't see my faces that I usually see. Let me see if I'm I don't want to mess up nothing. No, I better go back. All right, don't mess up. Yes, all right, Sancha, and that's a birthday month. Yes, all right. Happy and blessed birthday. Amen. For all of my March people, happy Sunday. Happy Sunday, Minister Steph and Facebook family. Happy Sunday, my Doris. Happy Sunday to each and every one of you. I want to know why I can't see my faces on top. Mm -hmm. Let's give God some hearts of praise this morning. This is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be blessed. So let's release some hearts this morning for the Lord and give God hearts of praise, hearts of gratitude, hearts of adoration. Happy Sunday, Tika McLam. Happy Sunday to you. Yes. Thank you, Jill. Sharing is caring. Please uh, share this video. Sharing is caring in Jesus name. Happy Sunday to each and every one of you that are getting on. Amen. Happy, happy Sunday. Yes. This is first Sunday, so please get your communion elements ready. Um, if you have the regular communion set, you can have that ready. If you have crackers and grape juice, you can have that ready. Crackers and orange juice, bread and water. I forgot my uh, communion set last night from church, so I'm doing bread and water today. Happy Sunday, Dawn Colbert. Sister Dawn, happy Sunday to you. Blessings to you. And to your family in Jesus' name. Thank you, Tika, for sharing. Happy Sunday to every each and every one of you. Happy Sunday, Barbara Roundtree. 
Happy Sunday. Happy, happy Sunday. On this first Sunday of March, March 3rd, 2024. Yes, let's give hearts of praise. Happy Sunday, Pastor Bev. Amen. Happy Sunday to each and every one of you that are on this Sunday morning. Happy, happy Sunday. This is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Happy Sunday, Pastor Faye, all the way from North Carolina. Happy Sunday to you. Blessings to you and the family. In Jesus' name, hallelujah. Happy first Sunday, everybody. This is going to be a uh, Sunday of prayer and communion this morning. Uh, we thank God for our service last night. We had a night of prayer. And uh, when we do nights of prayer, we uh, usually don't tape live. We just kind of stay in-house and focus on who's there. Happy Sunday, Melanie J. Red. Happy Sunday to you. Blessings to you and the family. Happy Sunday, Suzanne Marrow. Blessings to you and your family in Jesus' name. Blessings to everyone that is getting on this morning. In Jesus' name, happy, happy Sunday. Okay, we're gonna, we start every Sunday morning, uh, 7.55 to 8.05 is meet and greet. 8.05 begins prayer, and um, we're usually done by uh, every Sunday morning by 9 a.m. We want to thank Pastor Matt Sylvester for filling in for me last uh, Sunday morning. He did a great job, so we thank Pastor Matt for his ministry and for uh, filling in for me on last Sunday morning. Amen. We had an awesome prayer service last night and we just thank and praise God for his Lisa Price, my friend. Happy Sunday, Lisa. Miss you and love you. Blessings to you and your family too. In Jesus name. Happy, happy Sunday. God is good, y'all. We thank God for this another day. We thank God that we're in a third month. Time is moving. Amen. Happy Sunday, Marcia. Blessings to you and your family in Jesus' name. Happy Sunday, Minister Claire. Happy Sunday to you. Blessings to you and your family in Jesus' name. All these powerful men and women of God. And please, while we're on, please press the share button. Sharing is caring. This Sunday, we're just going to do prayer and communion. And I'm sure there's somebody on your page that needs prayer this morning. There is power in prayer. So we're going to have a prayer. Uh, we'll do some prayer targets this morning and have communion, and then we'll release you to enjoy the rest of this Sunday morning. Happy Sunday, Naira Carter. Miss you. Blessings to you and your family in Jesus' name. Blessings on your job. Blessings with your family in Jesus' name. Yes, Jill, last night was so good. To God be the glory. It was, we had a good night of prayer. We want to invite each and every one of you every Saturday night. <clears throat> we meet every Saturday night at 69 Myrtle Street, Cranford, New Jersey. In the great room, in the back. There's parking in the back, but we the doors open at 5.30 for prayer. 6 p.m. starts our service, and we just let God have his way. But we just had a night of prayer last night, which was always, which is always in order. Prayer is always in order and always needed. Amen. We are a house of prayer, so there will be times where we'll just pray and seek the Lord. And I just felt encouraged last night just to encourage the people that were there and to build them up. So we thank and praise God. Thank you, Suzanne Mara, for sharing. Uh, happy Sunday, Sister Gwen. Blessings to you and your family this morning. In Jesus' name, happy Sunday. Thank God we made it to the third month, uh, the month of March of 2024. In Jesus' name. So we're going to begin uh, in a few minutes. Happy Sunday, K-Love. Blessings to you and to your family. In Jesus' name, happy Sunday. Uh, Carol Raptors, blessings to you. And to your family in Jesus' name. And blessings for your uh, prayers for your granddaughter, Sierra, not sleeping at all. So, Father, we just release that her sleep will be, Sierra's sleep will be sweet, Lord, in Jesus' name. That you restore to her her sleep and her rest in Jesus' name. Happy Sunday, William Johnson, my longtime neighbor, classmate, and friend. Happy Sunday, William Johnson. Blessings to you and your family in Jesus' name. Happy Sunday, Donna. Good to see you on this morning. Blessings to you and to your family in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, we're going to start in two minutes. We start every Sunday morning, 7.55 to 8.05 is meet and greet. 8.05, we begin prayer, and then we just go right into our service. Amen. And we're usually on 
for about an hour on Sunday morning. Sometimes uh, we're off. We're off, we're off sooner than an hour, but uh, never no longer than an hour. An hour of power every Sunday morning from 7.55 to 8.05 is prayer, and we're usually out by 9 a.m. So we thank God for our virtual church this morning, our virtual ministry, and we just pray that today's service will be blessed. Yes, Melanie J. Red, thank you, Jesus, to rise and see another day. We're going to make it in Jesus' name. That's right. No matter what we're going through, we are going to make it in Jesus' name. So blessings to Melanie, to your mom, to your sisters, to your family, in Jesus' name. Good seeing you on last week as well. All right, one more minute. We're going to begin prayer. And you know, we don't start church late. We start on time. We wait for nobody. Amen. 8.05 it is, and we're going to start. Let us pray, everybody. Father, we thank you, Lord, for this day. We thank you that this is the day that you have made, and we come this morning to rejoice and to be glad in it, Lord. We thank you for another night's sleep and slumber, oh God. We thank you how you watched over us and protected us, Lord, in Jesus' name. And Lord, we thank you for the beginning of a brand new day. So we just say, according to your word, that this is the day that you have made, Lord. And we come this morning to rejoice and to be glad in it. In spite of what we may be facing, in spite of what we may be going through, we choose to give you thanks and praise, Lord, because you're a good, good Father, you're a good, good God, and we bless you and thank you for all that you have done. Lord, we just ask that you bless this service today, Lord. You bless every family that's represented here today, Lord. You know what your sons and daughters need, and Lord, we thank you that you know what things we have need of even before we ask, but your word admonishes us that if we ask, it shall be given, that if we seek, that we would find, if we knock, it shall be open unto us, and this is the confidence, Lord, that we have in you. That if we ask anything according to your will or to your word that you hear us. So, Father, I lift up everyone that's watching this morning, everyone that's listening in Jesus' name. And, Father, we ask that you move in every circumstance this morning. We ask that you move in every uh, thing that your people are going through, Father God. And I just prophesy victory over every situation, Lord, in Jesus' name. And, Lord, I declare and decree that no weapon formed against your sons and daughters this morning shall prosper, Lord, in Jesus' name. Lord, we pray that you give your people grace and strength to go through every trial, grace and strength to go through every test, O oh God, in Jesus' name. And we just thank you for this day. We thank you for life. We thank you for health. And we thank you for strength this morning. And we say, Lord, have your way in all of our lives this morning, in Jesus' name. And we just say, Lord, have your way as we go into the service today. Have your way as we go into uh, this time of prayer. And we ask that you bless everyone that's watching. Let no one leave here this morning the same. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Let's give God praise. Amen. If you agree with that prayer, say amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So we're going to, um, I'm going to do, I'm going to have a, a, a time of prayer this morning. I'm going to go over some prayer targets uh, this morning, and then I'm going to go into a time of communion. So I just want to say happy Sunday to each and every one of you. It's good to have you on this morning. We thank God for life, health, and for strength this morning. We thank God for another day. We thank and praise God that we made it to another month in Jesus' name. And so we're just going to do some prayer targets this morning and have a time of prayer because prayer is always in order. Let me say it again for those in the back. Prayer is always in order. So our first prayer target this morning is going to be for salvation, deliverance, and wholeness for our family, friends, loved ones, and for worldwide. Happy Sunday, Suzanne. Austin Vega, happy Sunday to you and loved ones worldwide and global. So we, we want to pray today. Our first prayer target is for salvation. So as I, as I release these prayer targets, if you know someone that needs to be saved, if you know someone that needs deliverance, if you know that someone that needs wholeness, you are feel free to type their names in the chat. And uh, we're going to, as the prayer is going forward, we're going to uh, target those names and we're going to pray for those names. I'm going to read a few scriptures. So our first, our first uh, prayer target is for salvation, deliverance, and wholeness for our family, friends, and loved ones. And we also want to play pray worldwide and global salvation that the world would be saved. St. John 3, 16 and 17 says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him would not perish but have everlasting life. Verse 17 says, For God sent not his son 
into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. So our first prayer target is for salvation. Romans 10, 9 says that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and shall believe in thine heart that God raised Jesus from the dead, that thou shalt be saved. I love Romans 10, 13. It says, for whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. So Jesus came to seek and to save that which is lost. Amen. So uh, there's nobody too hard that God can't save. There's nobody too tough that God can't save. God is able to touch the hearts of of his people. God is able to use you and myself through the power of prayer and, and sending people into their pathway to witness to them, to share the gospel with them. So we, we, we want our family saved. We want our loved ones saved. We want our children saved. We want our grandchildren saved. We want Pookie and them saved. We want everyone saved. And that's the will of the Father is to seek and to save those that are lost. Happy Sunday, Cassandra Chambers. Amen. So uh, we want to just release salvation. If you know anyone that needs to be saved, anyone that struggling needs deliverance, or anyone that needs wholeness, continue to release their names. I see the names that are already in there. So we're going to pray for salvation. The word says, for whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. God is able to save and deliver from anything. So let's pray. Father, we come to you this morning and we thank you, Lord. And we thank you, Father, that you sent your son into the world that the world through Jesus, we might be saved. Your word, the, your word declares that you didn't send your son into the world to condemn the world, but that uh, that we would be saved through, through and in the name of Jesus. So Lord, we just pray this morning for salvation. We pray for the names that were listed on this prayer, uh, on this, uh, on the new, on the feed right now, Father God, all the names are listed. And Father, we just released salvation and deliverance and wholeness, Lord. We thank you, Lord, that you are the God who saves. You are the God that delivers. You are the God that sets free. So, Lord, we pray that you take away the stony hearts and give them hearts of flesh. Father, we pray that you send people into their paths that they would listen to, their friends, co-workers, family members, even a stranger, Lord. We pray, Father God, for salvation in and through the name of Jesus. For at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. So we just release salvation in Jesus' name. We pray for our loved ones. We pray for our family members. We pray for our friends, our coworkers. We pray globally that you would save this world. Your word declares in St. John 3, 16, that you so love the world that you gave your only begotten son, that whosoever believes in him would not perish, but have everlasting life. We thank you that your word also declares that you sent not your son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world uh, may be saved through and in the name of Jesus. So Father, we just thank you for salvation and deliverance and wholeness for every name that's listed on this news feed. We thank you for every name that is on here, Father God, that your sons and daughters are, are listening and we claim their salvation. We claim their deliverance. We claim their wholeness. And we thank you that none will be lost in Jesus name. For your word declares that whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. So Father, we pray that you touch hearts. We pray that you take away the stony hearts and give them hearts of flesh. Lord, we pray that you send anointed people into their lives that they would listen to and that you would soften their hearts to receive Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior of their lives, that no one will be lost and no one will die and go to hell because they haven't received Jesus Christ into their lives. And we just pray for salvation, deliverance, and wholeness all across this nation to those that we know and those that we don't know. And we thank you for it in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's give God praise. Amen. And we thank you, Lord, for every name that's listed on this, this news feed, every name that your sons and daughters is typing in, Father, we release salvation, we release deliverance, we release wholeness, Lord. Lord, touch their hearts, O oh God, in Jesus' name. Even those that are praying for them, give them the strength and the grace to deal with them, Father God, in Jesus' name, and give them, show them how to minister, show them how to go in and out, show them how to say a word, show them how to pray, Father God. In Jesus' name, and Father, we just thank you for everyone's name that was typed in. We thank you for their salvation. We thank you for their deliverance, and we thank you for their wholeness. In Jesus' name, amen. If you agree with that, say amen. Hallelujah. None of us, none of our families will be lost. 
We pray for our brothers, our sisters, our mothers, our fathers, our aunts, our uncles, our nieces, our nephews, Father God. We thank you for everyone in our family being saved in Jesus' name. We thank you, Father God, even those that say they're atheists, even those that say that they don't like the church, even those that say that uh, whatever their excuses or they've been hurt. Father, we pray that you heal hearts. We thank you that your word declares that you heal the brokenhearted and you bind up their wounds. So, Father, we pray. We thank you, Lord, for their salvation. We thank you for their deliverance. We thank you that no more excuses in Jesus' name. And, Father, we thank you for touching their hearts. Give them dreams. Give them visions. Give them God encounters. Shake them, Lord, this morning in Jesus' name that they would run and say, what must I do to be saved? And that they would also receive Jesus Christ into their hearts and into their life. We reclaim every backslider that has slidden back, that has gone back into the world, that has gone away from you. We claim their salvation this morning in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. We say amen. So we, we thank and praise God that the Lord is, a, he's our savior. He knows how to heal. He knows how to deliver. He knows how to set free. He knows how to draw our loved ones into salvation. He knows what strings to pull. Amen. He knows in Jesus name, just like he pulled us into salvation and we're saved. He knows how to draw our loved ones. He knows how to draw our family members and God knows how to get their attention in Jesus name. Amen. And in the meantime, while you're um, while you're believing God for them, continue to pray for them, continue to love them, continue to do what you can for them, continue to sow seeds of love, sow seeds of kindness, invite them to church, um, invite uh, invite them to come to the Hope with you on a Saturday night, invite them to listen on Sunday morning, invite them to go to your if you go somewhere else, invite them and bring them to church. Because sometimes you never you never know how God's going to save and deliver. And God is the God that touches hearts. Amen. So we bless God. Okay, number two. Our second prayer point is for healing. If you know anyone that needs healing, you know that anyone that's in the hospital or home that's sick, I want you to type their names in this morning in Jesus' name. Because we're going to the second um, prayer target is, is for healing for physical bodies and emotional healing. There are a lot of people that are going through emotional sickness and need emotional healing. You always hear me talk about, if you've been following this ministry any length of time, I have a, a, a deep desire for people's souls. We are a spirit, we have a soul, and we live in a physical body. And our soulish realm is where the enemy fights us most, in Jesus' name. That's right, Pastor Bev, we take authority over the stronghold of the enemy and break the power he has on our loved ones in Jesus name. Hallelujah. So we uh for those emo you know depression, oppression, fear, suicidal thoughts, those are emotional things that we need healed. So we want to pray this morning for healing. David said in Psalm 23 and 3 that he restores my soul. Glory to God. So I want to pray for restoration of your souls. Those of you that have been depressed, those of you that have been oppressed, those of you that have been anxious, um, I see you typing in names this morning. So we want to pray for healing for physical bodies. Those that may be going through physical ailments, you may be sick, you may have pain in your body, you may be going through an emotional roller coaster, maybe you feel low in your spirit. I come to tell you this morning that the Lord is the glory and the lifter of your head in Jesus' name. There's nothing too hard for God. God is our healer, He is our deliverer, He's our way maker. Isaiah 50, our first scripture for healing is Isaiah 53 and 5. And it says, he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him and by his stripes we are healed. Amen. Jesus Christ died that we might be healed in Jesus name. Healed in our physical bodies and healed in our emotions. And I see you all typing in. Amen. That's good. Keep typing, keep typing and putting yourself in there. Keep typing because I'm telling you, the Lord is your healer this morning. I'm going to say that scripture again, Isaiah 53 and 5, that he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him and by his stripes you are healed. I speak healing to you this morning, this morning in Jesus name. Uh, Psalm 103, which is one of my favorite scriptures. Listen to Psalm 103 and 1. It says, bless the Lord, O my soul and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and forget not all his benefits, who forgiveth all thy iniquities, who healeth all thy diseases, who redeemeth thy life from destruction, 
who crowneth thee with loving kindness and tender mercies, who satisfies thy mouth with good things. The Lord wants to satisfy your mouth and your life with good things so that thy youth is renewed like the eagle. I'm gonna read that again. Psalm 103 verses one through five. It says, bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. When you are, when you've received Jesus Christ into your heart and life, there, there are benefits for you as a believer. And the benefit package is number three is, is who forgives all thine iniquities. So the Lord forgives your iniquities. He forgives your sins. He 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 keeps your he watch takes away your sin as far as the east is from the west. He is the Lord that heals you. Amen. So he forgives all your iniquities, all your sins because of the blood of Jesus Christ who heals all thy diseases. The Lord is our healer. And let me tell you something. If he doesn't heal us on this end, this side of heaven, he will heal us on the other side. Amen. So we're believing God that while we are on this side of heaven, that God will continue to heal and strengthen bodies and heal, heal our souls in Jesus name. Also, it says he redeems our life from destruction and he crowns you with loving kindness and tender mercies who satisfies thy mouth with good things so that thy youth is renewed like the eagles. And Father, I just pray that you satisfy the mouths of your sons and daughters with good things, that you satisfy their lives with good things so that thy youth is renewed like the eagles. Amen. So that was Isaiah 53 and 5, which is our healing scriptures. Psalm 103 verses 1 through 5. And one of my favorite scriptures, Psalm 147, verse 3 says, He heals the brokenhearted and binds up their wounds. And I want to pray for those. So uh, praying for uh, emotionals, praying for your soul, praying for your broken heart. Those are um, things that we need healing for in our emotions, that we need heal healing for in our soulish realm. So I'm praying this morning that as we're on the third day of March, that you would allow God to heal your heart that you would allow God to heal your emotions in Jesus' name. And I know how it feels to be low in your spirit. I know how it feels to be lonely. I know how it feels to go through and feel as though you're by yourself. But I'm telling you, the Lord wants to heal you this morning. The Lord wants to touch your life this morning. He wants you to know that you are not alone in Jesus' name. Even to my singles, my widows and my widowers that are watching this morning, you are not alone. God is with you. He promised he would never leave you nor forsake you. So, Father, we just pray this morning for those that need healing in their physical bodies, Lord, in Jesus' name. And we thank you that your word declares that you were wounded for our transgressions, that you were bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon you, Lord, and by your stripes we are healed. So if I pray for those that have pain and sickness in their physical bodies, Lord, and I pray that you would bring supernatural healing and strength to their bodies, Lord. In Jesus' name, those that may be suffering with arthritis, those that may be suffering with pain and discomfort in their bodies, I pray that you send healing to them this morning. In Jesus' name, those that are having a hard time moving, a hard time getting, getting up, a hard time going about their everyday life, Father, bring healing and wholeness to their bodies, Lord, in Jesus' name. And Father, I pray for those this morning, every name that's listed, those that are praying for themselves, those that are praying for other people. Father, I pray that you heal the brokenhearted and you bind up their wounds. Father, I take authority over every spirit of depression, over every spirit of uh, oppression, over every spirit of low self-esteem, low self-worth. Those that are hurting, Father, in Jesus' name, I pray for those that are hurting in silence that you bring healing and strengthen them this morning in Jesus' name. Lord, I declare and decree that no weapon formed against them this morning shall prosper in Jesus' name. Father, I pray that you heal bodies, that you heal minds, wills, and emotions, Lord, in Jesus' name. Lord, those that are low in their spirit, those that just feel yucky, Father God, those that just feel anxious and just feel some of who may feel like they don't even want to live, I speak life to you this morning, and I say that you shall live and not die to declare the works of the Lord in Jesus name. So Father, I speak life and encouragement and strength to their souls this morning in Jesus name. And I tell you this morning by the spirit of God that you matter, you matter. God loves you, I love you and that you matter. And if no one in this world told you they love you today, know that Pastor Mark loves you. Know that God loves you. Know if you need me, you can message me and inbox me in Jesus name. So Father, we pray for healing. We pray for strength. We pray for encouragement. We pray that you heal bodies this morning 
In Jesus' name, Lord, those whose head is hung down, lift up your head this morning in Jesus' name. Lift up your head, O ye gates, and be lifted up, ye everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is the King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle. He is the King of glory in Jesus' name. And I prophesy to you this morning that you shall feel better beginning now in Jesus' name. I thank you, Lord, that you're the glory and the lifter of our heads in Jesus' name. And I just want you just to take that encouragement this morning. I just want you to lift your hands wherever you are and just say, Lord, I thank you for healing me. I thank you for strengthening me. Some of you have been carried. Some of you are on overload. Hallelujah. I hear the Lord saying some of you are on overload. You are overloading yourself with people's problems. You are overloading yourself with people's stuff. And I hear the Lord saying, cast all of their cares upon the Lord because he cares for you. First Peter 5 and 7. Stop being Holy Ghost Jr. Try, stop trying to fix everybody. Pray for them and give it to the Lord this morning. You are on overload. And I speak a peace and a calm, Lord, in Jesus' name. And when they come and dump stuff on you, give it to God. Give it to God. Stop. You can't fix everybody. You can't help everybody. You can't do everybody. You got you to gotta love your neighbor as you love yourself. You got to love yourself first and take care of you. That's the word for somebody this morning. Take care of you first. If you don't take care of yourself first, you will be no help to anybody else. Hallelujah. Glory to God. You got to preference yourself. You can do and do and do and help and help so many people and then you'll be drained. Hallelujah. Let the Lord minister to you. Let the Lord strengthen you and pray for people. Stop carrying people's burdens. Give their things to the Lord in Jesus name. Let me take a sip to that. If that was a word for you, say amen. Let me hear. Let me get some feedback. Say amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Now Ricardo said, I received that. Amen. Let me tell you something. Sometimes you got to teach people to grow up. <laughs> That's a good word. You got to teach people to grow up. Because let me tell you something. If Let me tell you something. I'm going to put it out there. If we pass away tomorrow, they're going to they're gonna figure it out. Let me say it again for those in the back. If we pass away tomorrow, they will figure it out. Make sure you take care of you first. Somebody type in first. Make sure you take Take it. Make sure you take care of you first. You matter. Take care of you first. If I pass away tomorrow, today, they will, people will figure it out. You're going to figure it out. So let them figure it out. Let them figure it out. Make sure you keep yourself in a place of healing, a place of wholeness. Stop draining yourself. Stop working yourself so hard. I'm telling you, God is saying rest, rest, rest. You need to rest. Rest yourself. Take care of yourself. You only have you. You only have one of you. It's only one of you. Let me tell you something. I'm telling you, this is a real word. People pass away every day. And let me tell you something. We have we have all lost loved ones. I've lost loved ones. You've lost loved ones. And let me tell you something. Did, did we not figure it out? We figured it out. Amen. You, everybody's going to have to figure it out. But I'm telling you, you got to take care of yourself first. You have to take care of yourself first. If you don't take care of yourself first, you will be no help to any body else and taking care of yourself is not being selfish listen to this this is a good word taking care of yourself first is not being selfish it's self-love that's a good word right there taking care of yourself first is not selfish it's self-love even the word says love your neighbor as you love your Self. You have to take care of yourself. You have to eat right. You have to sleep right. You have to get your rest. You have to stop taking so much, taking on everybody's problems. When they call you with problems, go into prayer. Hey, Lisa. Hey, L.A. Razel Sweat. When they go into problems, go into prayer. Pray for them right on the spot. Amen. They call you murmuring and complaining. They call you murmuring and complaining. Say, okay, let's pray. Take them right to prayer. I'm telling you, don't let people dump. You are not the dumpster. Somebody type in dumpster. You are not people's dumpster, y'all. You are not people's dumpster. Hallelujah. That's right, Pastor Bev. With the help of the Lord, we figured it out. Yep, we figured it out. When my mother passed in 2003, I figured it out. <laughs> Amen. I was a little, I was in my 30s then, but I, you, we figured it out, y'all. God graces us and helps us and let people figure it out. 
out. That's right. You are not the dumpster. Glory to God. I love you, so I got to tell you this. So you, I want you to have a good year, y'all. Um, I know it's March 3rd. We're in the third month. And I, I, I prophesy that in this third month that you will march into the blessings of God. Glory to God that you will march into all that God has in store for you. Father, I release a prayer this morning that the, your sons and daughters will march into good things, that they will march out of everything that's not of you, but they will march into blessings, that they will march into God's favor, that they would march into the things that you have in store for them, that they would march into more than enough, that they would march into healing, happiness, laughter, joy, peace in Jesus name. I prophesy, I say forward march this morning in Jesus name. Hallelujah. In Jesus name. All that God has in store for you in Jesus name. Hallelujah. Do it for your sons and daughters. Show yourself mighty for them in this third month. This third month, which is symbolic of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. This third month, Lord, do something special for your sons and daughters in Jesus name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Yes, march into all that God has in store for you. Forward march. Hut, two, three, four. Hut, two, three, four. March into all that God has for you. March out of the drama and march into your blessings in Jesus' name. Glory to God. All right, number three. Number three, number three. Our third prayer target for this morning is number three is finances. Um, these prayer targets I have are the, uh, I have three prayer targets, I have four, another one, but th three prayer targets this morning, but these three prayer targets are the most things that are prayed around the world in Christendom. These are the most three things that people are believing God for all around the world. And the first one is salvation and deliverance and wholeness for their families, friends, loved ones. The second is for healing. People all around the world are praying for healing. Glory to God. And third, the third most thing that people are praying for is finances. I have the most global uh, prayer targets that people are praying for around the world. It's salvation for their loved ones, healing for their bodies and for their souls, and for finances. Amen. So our third one is finances. To be debt free, to owe no man nothing but to love him, to come to a place of more than enough. Kingdom giving and kingdom receiving. I'm going to read the scripture. The scripture in uh, 2 Corinthians 9, 6 says, uh, He that sows sparingly shall reap sparingly, but he that sows bountifully shall reap bountifully. Let me tell you something. I'm going to talk about this finance. Some people don't like when you talk about it, but God's work, we, this world is hinged on sowing and reaping. Amen. The world is hinged on sowing and reaping. When we go to work, we sow our hours on our job to reap a paycheck once a week or every twice a week. All right. Let me say that again. The world is hinged on sowing and reaping. We sow 40 hours, 30 hours, 35 hours, 40 plus hours if we work overtime, we sow those hours in advance to get a paycheck at the end of the week or every two weeks. So it's the same with the things of God. And, and I know people don't like to talk about it, but I'm going to talk about it because y'all know my heart by now. You have to sow in order to reap. And the word sets it up in 2 Corinthians 9, 6. It says, if you sow sparingly or you give cheap or you give $2 you ball up a dollar, but you on Amazon shopping day and night, night and day. Come on here. And you wondering where all your money's going. You have to sow into the kingdom of God. You have to sow into good ministries. You have to sow into your men and women of God that are feeding you and blessing you. You have to sow. If you sow sparingly, you're going to reap sparingly. If you sow bountifully, you're going to reap bountifully. And let me tell you something. You set the tone for your life. You set the tone for your giving. You set the tone for how you're going to live in abundance. Are you going to live in abundance? Or are you going to live from paycheck to paycheck? I don't know about you, but I don't want to live paycheck to paycheck. I want to live in a place of more than enough. I want to live in a place where the money is already in my account that I can pay the bills even before they're due. Amen. And if you want to do this, you got to stop robbing God. You got to stop eating up the tithe, stop shopping the tithe and sow your tithes and offering into good ministries, good 
people that are feeding you, people that are helping you. Amen. You have to do it. You say, well, I can sow, uh, I can sow love. Okay. So if you sow love, you're going to reap love. If you want to, if you want to reap uh, fruit and vegetables in your backyard, you got to sow fruit and vegetable seeds. If you want to reap finances, you got to sow finances. Don't try to say I'm going to sow love and help people, which is good, but don't say I'm going to sow love and help people and expect to reap finances. No, if you want to receive abundance, you have to sow sparingly or sow bountifully. And you have not just giving in church, but sowing and giving and blessing people by the spirit of God. Amen. So we can't get upset. Don't get upset because I'm talking about finances because I want you to be blessed. You set the tone. I don't set the tone for you. Let me say it again for those in the back. I don't set the tone for you. You set the tone, how you sow, how you give, how you give into good ministry, how you sow your tithes and offerings, how you give is how you set the tone. And let me tell you something. If you missed it, you're like, Pastor Mark, I haven't been sowing, I haven't been giving. Ask God to forgive you and start today. <laughs> Amen. Because you set the tone. So uh, Malachi says that when you sow and tithe and give, that, that the devourer is rebuked for you. And if you're tired of struggling, you're tired of living paycheck to paycheck, you're tired of not having enough, you're tired of working all these hours, working overtime, and you still don't, can't see no money, you have to sow into good ground. You have to sow into God's kingdom. You have to sow into men and women of God that are blessing you and speaking into your life. Amen? But you, that's between you and God. That ain't, that ain't between you and me. That's between you and God. Amen? So... Financial abundance or lack thereof, it's between you and God. It's a hard thing. Amen. So I want to see God bless you this year. But the way for the the way for the believer to be blessed, the way for us to be blessed is by giving. Amen. Boy, y'all sure got quiet on this one. <laughs> Amen. But I love you. I gotta tell you the truth because that's the key. And I, I I can I know just from my own life, you know, just sowing and sacrificing and giving. It pays off. Amen. So let's pray. Father, we thank you for those that are watching this morning. We pray for those this morning that are believing you for financial debt freedom, Lord. And we pray that they would begin to sow and give into your kingdom, Lord, in Jesus name. Father, not tell not to shop their tithes, not to eat their tithes and offerings, not to uh Amazon, their tithes and offerings. But Father, we pray that they would sow into your kingdom, that they would sow into good ground, Father God, that they can reap a harvest, Lord, in Jesus' name. And we pray that you cause your men and women as they give to be debt free. We pray that you cause them to live in more than enough. And Father God, even those that feel convicted, Lord, Holy Spirit, you convict those that you want to bless. You convict those that you want to make it right. So Father, we pray that you, that you convict them. The, the devil never condemns you, but the Lord will convict you. He's saying, get it together so he can bless you. He desires to bless his people. He said, the word says, when you give, it shall be given unto you. Good measure, press down, shake it together and running over shall men give into your bosom. I'm not teaching this to condemn you. I'm not teaching this to, to put you down. I'm teaching this because I want to see you live in abundance, live in more than enough where you're, you're not struggling, where you're not living from paycheck to paycheck or monthly check to monthly check, that you live in a place of more than enough and the enemy will is robbing the church because we don't want to give on a consistent basis. And it's not just giving an offering, but giving when God leads you to give. So Father, we pray that you cause people to uh, have a, the right heart and put things in place, Father God, and to sow into your kingdom. We, we sow for everything else we want. We, we sell when we want liquor, we sell when we want cigarettes, we sell when we want food, we sell for whatever we want. So give us hearts and minds to sow into your kingdom so we can live in a place of more than enough. In Jesus name, amen. <laughs> Boy, I can tell, I can, I can, I can feel, I can feel the feedback. I can feel, the, I can feel the resistance to Rocky Road, but I, I, I'm telling you these things because I love you. Amen. And it's up to you to, to get it right. It's up to you to make it right. And God doesn't condemn you. We've all missed it in that area. None of us are 100%. We strive to be. But I'm telling you now, you can make a fresh start in March. You can make a fresh start. When you get your monthly money, you should be tithing. When you get your 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 um, your paycheck, you should be sowing and tithing and giving. And not just giving in ministry, but giving 
taking care of your ministry, taking care of where God put you, but also giving as the Holy Spirit leads you. Amen. Lisa Price said, teach. Amen. Because we do it. We 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 go. We buy. People get their weed. When the weed man come, they don't mind getting their weed. When they want to get the cannabis, they get the cannabis. They don't. They don't bark about that. When we want our food, we pay for our food. We want our liquor, we pay for our liquor. We we pay for all the stuff we want to pay for when we want to pay for it. But then when it comes to the kingdom of God, we want to give God two dollars and think we're going to be blessed. No, you are blessed by how you sow and how you give in the kingdom. Now, if you want to keep struggling, don't give. If you want to keep going, living from paycheck to paycheck, don't give. If you don't want to believe God for supernatural things, it's up to you. It's between you and God. It ain't even about me. Amen. Yes. Uh, my Roxy starts to amen, Pastor. It's what we all need to know and don't take offense. Keep telling us the word of God as the Lord helps us to obey. Amen. Because I want to see you blessed. Amen. And I know that God loves a cheerful giver. He loves when we sow. And let me tell you something. I can say this. When God has led me to sow and to bless people and to give to people, I never regret it. Even people that may no longer speak to me. I never say, oh, I wish I would have never did that because I give and sow and bless from the heart. When you give and sow and bless from the heart, you, you have no regrets. Amen. And when let me tell you something, we should want to give to God. Why should we want to give to God? God is the one that blesses with our jobs. God is the one that blesses with where we live. He blesses us with our cars. Every good and perfect gift comes from God. When you sow, don't worry about where the money going. You sow and give unto the Lord. And, and, and God will take care of all the other stuff. Amen. But it's about you and God. Amen. So it's a hard thing. Amen. All right. And number four, my last prayer target for number four, I'm believing God for rest supernatural restoration and breakthrough. Supernatural restoration and breakthrough. Amen. Supernatural restoration and breakthrough. Amen. And let me tell you something about that giving. You do your part and God is always faithful to do his part. Let me say it again for those in the back. When you do your part, God is always faithful to do his part. And let me tell you something. You can't beat God giving. Amen. All right. So our fourth prayer target for today is supernatural restoration and breakthrough. Joel 2.25 says, and I will restore to you the years that the locust has eaten, the canker worm, and the palmer worm, and the the canker worm, caterpillar, and the palmer worm, my great army which I sent among you. Jeremiah 30, 17 says, And I will restore health unto you, and I will heal thee of thy wounds, saith the Lord, because they call thee an outcast. Amen. So I'm believing God for you for supernatural restoration and breakthrough in every area of our life. Amen. As we're in this third month, I, I pray that the Lord restores your soul that he restores your life, that he restores your finances, that he restores your joy, that he restores your peace, that that which was lost and stolen to God will restore. Amen. That's right. Amen. So, Father, we thank you this morning for those that are believing for supernatural restoration and breakthrough. Father, we thank you, Lord, that you restore to us. Your word says in Joel 2.25 that I will restore to you the years that the locust has eaten the canker worm and the caterpillar and the palmer worm, my great army, which I sent among you. So father, I pray for restoration in marriages. I pray that you restore my singles. I pray that you restore peace. I pray that you restore joy. I pray that you restore laughter. I, I pray that you restore people enjoying and living a good life. You said you come that we would have life and have it more abundantly to the full until it overflows. I pray that you restore relationships that you restore uh, family relationships, relationships between parents and children, relationships between mothers and fathers, relationships between children, relation, restore relationships. That's a good one right there. Restore rela Some of you haven't talked to your children in a long time. Restore relationships. Restore relationships. I speak restoration to families, restoration to relationships. Restoration to those that you may be angry with and, and, and upset with and forgive them. If, even if they haven't asked you to forgive them, don't walk around holding a grudge. Don't walk around holding unforgiveness. Unforgiveness will hinder your prayers. Grudges will hinder your prayers. <coughs> if you're upset, go to God. Ask God to take away the unforgiveness and the grudge. 
in Jesus' name. Even if they were wrong, don't walk around with a grudge. Don't walk around with unforgiveness. Unforgiveness will hinder your prayers. Unforgiveness will hinder your breakthrough. In Jesus' name, release it and let it go in Jesus' name. If it's hard to forgive and hard to release, stay before the Lord and say, God, you got to help me. God, you got to help me. I, I have been there where you got to get people out of your soul. So, Father, we thank you this morning. I release a supernatural restoration and root supernatural uh, breakthrough for your sons and daughters this morning. Lord, we pray that you have your way in their lives. Let great things come from this prayer today, Father God. Let testimonies come this month. Testimonies of breakthrough. I pray that you will call me, text me, inbox me of testimonies that will take place from March 3rd, from 844 a.m. That this month of March will be testimonies of your goodness, testimonies of in your finances, testimonies in your bodies, testimonies with debt cancellation, testimonies of bills being paid, testimonies of salvation, deliverance, and holders, testimonies in Jesus' name. If you receive that, say amen. Hallelujah. All right, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. Hallelujah. Let's give God praise. And I want to tell you, stay in expectation. I know some you're waiting for things to happen that hasn't happened yet. Stay in expectation. Don't let the enemy discourage you. Keep fighting the good fight of faith. Keep believing to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. David said, I would have fainted. Psalm 27, 13. David said, I would have fainted. I would have quit unless I had believed to see what the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Also, one announcement. On Friday, March 15th at 6.30 p.m., anyone in the Bethlehem, Pennsylvania area, I will be there on a Friday night. Friday night, March 15th at 6.30, I will be at the gathering place. 418 Edward Street in Bethlehem, PA. So please mark your calendars. If you can meet me there, meet me there. Friday night, March 15th, 6.30 p.m. Also, if you are ministry or anyone knows, uh, if you would like me to come and do prayer in your ministry or church, um, prayer is needed. We're anointed to do prayer. So if you need prayer in your ministry, your church, let me know. We will come and conduct prayer because prayer is needed. And one of the things that God has anointed me to do is to pray. Men are always to pray, not faint, lose heart, and give up. All right, it's communion time. Amen. Claudia Carroll says, see, yes, see you there. Thank you. Spread the word for me, Claudia. Amen. So it's communion time. Let's get our elements together for communion, and then I'm going to release you and let you go. Glory to God. If you have bread, crackers, grape juice, water, I forgot my communion set, so I got bread and I have water, so... Let's do that. Amen. Thank you, Sunshine Nessa. Thank you, Lord. I, I want to see you all blessed. I know that you have great potential. And I want to see you all blessed and walking in all that God has for you in every area of your life. That's my heart for you all this morning in Jesus' name. So let us pray. Father, we thank you for this time of prayer. We thank you for the names that were listed on this on this uh this morning, the names that your sons and daughters typed in, Father God. And we just pray a special prayer over every name that was typed in, Father God, that you move by your power, that you move by your might. Every name, Lord, that was typed in by these listeners, Father God, we pray that you show yourself mighty, that you show yourself strong, and Father God, let things shift and change in their lives and in the people that they typed in's lives in Jesus' name. Father, we release your wonders to be released in the earth, and Father God, I prophesy testimonies that these people will come back of great testimonies of what you've done through this prayer this morning in Jesus' name. And Father, we come this morning as we come into this time of communion. We thank you, Lord, that your body, you said as often as we do this, to do it in remembrance of you. So Lord, as we partake of this communion, if you have your bread or wafer, whatever you have lifted up, Father, we thank you, Lord, for this, Father God. We thank you for this bread, which is symbolic of your body, your bread, which was broken for, your body, which was broken for us. So, Lord, as we take of this bread, which is symbolic of your body, we pray, Lord, if there's anything going on in our bodies, that you heal us and make us whole in Jesus' name. Father, we pray that this communion, this bread, Father God, will bring supernatural healing, supernatural breakthrough, and supernatural change for your sons and daughters this morning in Jesus' name. Let's eat of the bread. Hallelujah. All right, I forgot my grape juice last night, but I got my water. 
So Lord, as we come this morning, we thank you, Lord, for your body, your blood, which was shed for us, Lord. And Lord, as we lift up our liquid elements, whether it's grape juice, water, orange juice, coffee, whatever it may be, Lord, we thank you that we do this in remembrance of you. And Lord, we thank you for your blood. Amen. Let's just think about the blood of Jesus Christ. Because of Jesus Christ shedding his blood, we can walk in forgiveness from all of our sins, past, present, future, anything that we thought, said, and done, it's under the blood. Lord, we thank you this morning for forgiving us from all of our sins. We thank you for your blood that washes us, your blood that cleanses us, your blood that purifies us. And we thank you for your blood to cleanse our souls, our minds, our wills, and our emotions. So Lord, as we partake of your blood this morning, if there be anything wrong in our blood, we ask that you would heal us and make us whole. Spirit, soul, body, mind, will, and emotions. And we thank you for your blood that never loses its power. We thank you for the blood of Jesus Christ that cleanses us from all of our sins. Wash us, cleanse us, and make us new in your blood. And we thank you for it in Jesus' name. Let's drink. Amen. Yes, we keep Mom Red in prayer. We release healing for Mom Red, healing for uh, Carol's brother Jim. In Jesus' name, we just release healing and strength to them in Jesus' name. Amen. I feel like singing, I know it was the blood for me. One day when I was lost, he died upon the cross. I know it was the blood for me. Amen. I love you with the love of the Lord. I pray that you enjoyed our first Sunday morning prayer and communion service. I want you to know that I love you with the love of the Lord. If you need me, message me. If you have any questions, message me. I pray that you have a phenomenal week. And I pray that this month, that this month of March will be the month that you march into all that God has in store for you in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Suzanne Merrill says, you may not know, have known, but God knows. Amen. Good and worthy. Amen. To God be the glory. I love you all. Have a blessed day, everybody. March into all that God has for you in Jesus' name. And I say the best is yet to come. Thank you. Have a great week. I love you too. Love you all. Have a blessed day, everybody. Amen. Amen. Love you. Love you. Love you too, Melody J. Red. Love you all with the love of the Lord. And please share this video. Somebody on your newsfeed needs to hear this prayer. Have a blessed day.